Now I want you to change the rules. How can I make up anything? Which one do you want him to stand for? Which one do you want him to sit for? One one zero also stand or sit? What do you want to do? But here now he's standing for all these. He's sitting for this. Now I'm saying make him do something different. Suppose he sits for this also. And suppose he sits for this also. That's also possible, right? Yeah? Okay. So now, is this okay? Are these rules okay? These rules are okay. So now I want you guys to come back. Okay? You just face in front. Don't do anything. You stand here. Three of you stand in the back. Same as you were. Okay. Now, without looking here. I want you guys to stand and sit, do whatever you want. Okay, what should you do? Stand. No. Sit. 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 You need to sit. You have to listen to what they say because you can't see the board. So you change. Stand. Oh. Uh, yes. sit. Stand. No. Sit. 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 No, you, you don't have to do anything. You're the, you're the guy in the back row. You're the back bencher. You do whatever you want. He has to listen to what you're saying. Okay, good. So now you're sitting. Uh, try again. So this is this, this stand. This is okay, right? Because this is one 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 one. So he's standing. Yeah. Is the game clear? Okay. So thank you very much. Okay. Please sit. Okay. Now I want you guys from the back row to play this game. So this game is one game, right? I'm going to make up another game. Here's the other game. Thank you, man.
Yeah, that's the back of the class, or the front of the class, they made a slanting line. Yeah? So this is your first example of where you took the mathematical rule, yeah, and then you made the rule, it wasn't just three people in front, right? The whole class. And this is called a pattern. Right? A slanting line is a pattern. It's something you can draw. Okay. All of you sit, thank you. Suppose the slanting line had to go the other way around. Then which then what rule should I use? Yeah, so very good. It's this one. Yeah? So then it should be this, right? If you did that, so we're not going to do it, but if you did that, what would happen? It would go this way. Yeah? Okay. Suppose I want you to make a pattern where if one person stands up, then you make a cone. How will you do that? Which, which rules? One, one, one? One, zero, one. Perfect. Yeah? Not quite. You actually get something different from a cone, but you get one, zero, one. Okay? So, very good. So, all of you guys are happy with the game? Okay. Now, the only problem with this game is, suppose the rule is this. <coughs> Suppose the rule is that. How, how do we predict what's going to happen? Can anybody guess what's going to happen with this? Okay. Even I can't guess what's going to happen with this. Even I can't guess what's going to happen. Okay? So the problem is, all of you have to be trained to do this rule. And even if all of you do it, somebody might forget it, somebody might get it wrong, and it's going to take maybe half an hour to make the whole thing work. No? So, I can't keep on teaching you guys how to do the rules and then seeing what happens. With the slanting line, it's easy. But with this thing, it's very complicated. So what can I do? I want to know what this rule does. I want to know what pattern it makes. What can I do? Hmm? So, I could take all of you outside and we could spend one hour training to do this rule, right? And then we'll see what the rule does. But I don't have the time for that. You also don't have the time for that. So it's hot outside. So I want to quickly get an idea of what the rule does without actually making all stand and sit. Right? We do it on the board. Try it on the board. Okay. Even that's going to take a long time. Computer. That's what the computer is for. The computer is to do boring things that otherwise will take too long to do outside. So instead of writing, 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 writing here, I'm going to show you now how to do it on the computer. Is that okay? Okay. Now, how many of you have used a computer? Okay. All of you have used a computer. How many of you have used uh, Word? Microsoft Word. Word processor. Okay. Now, here's a difficult one. How many of you have used Excel? Wow! <laughs> You've all used Excel. You're all experts on Excel. Not experts. So, you're going to teach me what to do, okay? Ready? Okay, who's who's ready for the next step? Okay? So remember, what have we done so far? I've, I've taught you about binary numbers. Yeah? And then I've taught you this little game. And what have I taught you? I've taught you that if I write down some zeros and ones here, that means it's some sort of game you're playing. And because of that game, you make a pattern. You make a slanting line. Or is, okay, which one is straight line? That's easy, right? Straight line, just this is one, all the others are zero. Yeah? So these patterns are easy because if only one of these distinct means to stand up, then that's very easy. But here you have to stand up for this, or for this, or for this. It's very hard. So we're going to use what? The computer. We're going to use Excel to try and do something about this. Okay? Fine. So let me pull up the computer. What happens if I do this? May I? Thank you. So I'm going to sit here with you guys and play the following game. So apologies for the camera. But okay, so this is Excel. 
Can everybody see that? I know it's a bit uh, out of focus. Everybody can see it, right? Yeah? This is Excel. Ah, you can see it. Yeah? Okay, so what is this going to be? Everybody uses Excel, right? What do you put in each of these boxes? You put numbers. Okay, and then what can you do? You can do addition, subtraction, and all that, right? Alphabet, you can write all kinds of things. Okay, so I'm going to use Excel for numbers. You know what this is meant to be? This is meant to be the, the classroom. This is meant to be the classroom. These guys are the guys who are in the back. Guys and girls in the back. These guys and girls are in front. And every one of these students okay, in the middle and standing and sitting. Standing means one and sitting means zero. Okay? Now just to make it easy for you, I programmed it so that if you're standing, it looks black. Yeah? So if I put a one inside, it looks black. I can put a one here, I can put a one here. Yeah? Everybody see that? Yeah, did you know you could do this with Excel? Yes. Okay. So you can color based on the value. Now, how do you program this game? This is tough. This is tough. Yeah? So you have to teach Excel. You have to teach Excel how to take these rules and how to do it on the computer. Now, if this was a college class, I would actually teach you how to do this. But you guys are smart enough that you can just sort of guess how to do this, okay? I'm going to show you how. So in Excel, and you all know this, right? So in Excel, you can write a formula. Have you studied formula? Yeah? And you write formula, you have to type in here, you have to say equals something, something, something. Okay? So I'm going to zoom in and show you how that works. I'm going to zoom in and show you how that works. Zoom in really big. Okay. I don't know if you can see this. I have to zoom in some more. Okay, so here, I'm going to put some numbers. Just call out some numbers. Any numbers? Five. Five. Eighty. Two. Okay, so I put a bunch of numbers there, okay? Do you see those four numbers? Five, seven, eighty. And two. Now, here's what I'm going to do. You see that box? That box is the active, the active cell. I want to take that box, and I want to say the value in that box should be the sum of the three numbers behind it. Okay. So how do I do that? Well, just three, because one on the left, one on the right, and one directly behind. Even though there's four numbers. Okay, in fact, let's write some more numbers here. Okay? There's a bunch of numbers there, right? So I want this cell to be the sum of 34, 23, and 5. Okay, so in Excel, the way you do that is you say equals, you write equals, and then you click that plus that plus that. Okay? Now this is important. You see this? This is called a formula. When you write formula, you have to say equals, then you have to click. Now what is important about the formula? What's important about the formula is this doesn't say 34 plus 23 plus 5. It says A2 plus B2 plus C2. Why does it say that? So, so what should the answer be? If I hit enter, what should the answer be? 62, right? Yeah? This plus this is 57 plus 5 is 62. Yeah? Now, in Excel, you can do copy paste. You can copy this into this. So when I copy this formula into here, what will it say over here? Will it say 62? No. What will it say? 57. 99. 60. No. 35. 35. Who said 35? Exactly. Why does it say 35? 23 plus 5 plus 7. Yeah? Because this will take what's left behind right. This will take what's left, behind, and right. Okay? You believe me? Let's see if it works. Thus, copy, paste. 
25. Okay, what will this say? 92. 89. 81. Okay? Okay? So you see, Excel has very nice rule. Excel rule is left, middle, and right. Is that the same? Is it a bit like this? Yeah? Okay. Now here's the problem. This rule. I can't just write down, okay, by adding these numbers. Because suppose I added this plus this plus this, I get the number three. Yeah, but I'm not allowed to write the number three. Because this is just zero and one. Okay? So again, this was a college class, I will teach you a little more about this, but I'm going to use some tricks. Okay? And I'll teach you those tricks so that you can next time you go to your computer lab, you can actually do this yourself. This, remember, was easy. So this plus this plus this. So I'm going to show you how to make a slightly different formula. Okay, is everybody with me? Yes. Okay. Now this is where it gets a little bit complicated. So, anybody's not ready? Stop me now. Everybody part, okay? I'll do it again to show you. Okay? I want you guys to learn this so that even after I go, you'll be able to do it yourself. Okay? So you need to pay attention to what I'm doing. So what have we done so far? I've taught you this game. Binary numbers, I've taught you the standing sitting game. Right? And I'm telling you that Excel is meant to be a match of your classroom. And so I'm going to play the standing sitting game on the screen. Okay? So I have to teach Excel this formula. Problem is that this formula is not just A plus B plus C. This formula is slightly more complicated than A plus B plus C. Okay? Luckily, we don't have to solve that problem. Somebody's already solved it for you. And to do that, it's tough, right? How do I find out what number comes here from here? 9. Actually, you see this little number here is 3. Yeah, this bit is 3. And this bit is 8. So this must be 8 plus 3. Yeah? Everybody get this? Yeah? What about this number? You're not able to see in the back? Who's, who's not able to see? You're not able to see? Is this a light or is it a, it's a light? Okay, I won't go down here. Can you see here? Now I want you to solve one important number. 
Okay, the number I want you to solve is this number. Okay, I'm just going to write this whole thing down. It's zero, one, 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 zero, one, zero, zero. Yeah, I just read this off. What number is this? Tough one, tough one. So this is the ones place. Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. Okay. So how do you find out what number this is? You have to add zero times one plus zero times two plus one times four plus zero times eight plus one times sixteen plus one times thirty-two plus one times sixty-four. Somebody tell me what the answer is. I'll also work it out. So I'm going to open up a new file and look for rule number 116. See if I can find it. Okay. Okay. So remember last time in Excel it said A, B, C. In the same way we're doing P, Q, R. P is back and the right. Q is right behind. R is back on the left. Okay? This formula is easy, right? It's P plus Q plus P times Q plus Q times R. That formula is easy, right? You can write it in Excel. Does anybody know what this word means? Does anybody know what it means? Okay, this is a complicated 
complicated word. What this means is, and this is why you have to trust me, you take this number, okay, and you divide it by 2. Yeah? If it's an even number, what's the remainder? 0. If it's an odd number, what's the remainder? 1. So this whole formula means divide this by 2 and give me the remainder. Why do I need to do that? It will take any number and make it either 0 or 1. Okay? So this formula means do that formula, divide by 2 and give me the remainder. Now you have to believe that if you type this into Excel, it will do exactly this formula. So let's try that out. Yeah, so somebody, can somebody write down the formula so they remember it? It's P plus Q plus PQ plus QR. Okay? So let's do it. Yeah, so let's, let's put a PQR. Yeah? So this is equal to, what should the formula be? It's equal to P. Okay, that's the formula, okay? So if I put a bunch of numbers here, I get a, okay, so this is, this is the formula, P plus Q plus PQ plus QR, that's the formula, but this is a big number, it's not 0 or 1. So I want to divide this by 2 and find the remainder, what's the answer be? 0, because this is an even number. So let's see if it works. I'm going to actually write the formula. I'm going to change the formula now. And right there, I'm going to write mod. I'm going to write mod this comma 2. You see the new formula? It's the same formula. I just copied it from another thing. So what should the answer be? Zero. Zero. What if I make this into 6? I don't know. One. Then it becomes 1. one. What if I make this 17? It stays as 1. What if I make it 18? It goes to 0, okay? So this formula can actually do something interesting. Now, how do I check whether this formula is doing the same thing as this formula? I just try it out. Yeah? So let's try it out. Let's just try it out. So, if I make this 0, 0, 0, what should it be? 0. If I... How do I get 1 here? I have to put 1, how about 1, 1, 0? 1, 1, 0? 1, 1, 0. What should happen? 1, 1. Yeah, it works. Anything else? You want to check, do you believe this is the correct formula? 1, 0, 0. That's also 1. 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1. That's all, those are all 1. What about checking the zeros? 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1. Okay? So I think we tried them all out. So you guys believe now that in Excel, yeah, in Excel, this is working. So the formula I typed down is actually doing this. So now let's do the final game. What's the final game? I'm going to make this classroom, and in this classroom, I'm going to make somebody stand in the back, and I'm going to see what happens. Any guesses what's going to happen? I don't know either. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so, first of all, I have to copy this formula. Okay, I'll, I'll do that later, one sec. Let me just clear everything here. Copy and paste, control C, control B. Hold on. Let me just zoom out. Ooh, it's too small. Huh? Okay, here we go. So I'm coming back to this one where you can see standing and sitting, okay? Now, I'm going to copy the formula here. Just, uh, I forgot what it was. Just, uh, let's see. P plus Q plus PQ plus QR.
Okay, fine. So now, I'm going to make one person stand in the back of the class. So let's make this zero. Let's make everybody zero. No, no, no. Not in the real class. Only on the Excel class. Okay. So who should I make stand? L. Which person? N. 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 Okay, I'm going to make N stand. Okay. Now, let's see what the formula does to the first row. You see that? Two people are standing. Now let's see what the formula does to the second row. Still two people standing. What about the third row? Wow. Oh. You get a strike. What if somebody else had been standing here? Whoa. What if somebody had been standing next to them? He just moves. Okay. Ah. So if we had done this, this is what you would have got. Okay? That's quite nice, right? That means we don't have to keep doing all this stuff. We can just test it over here. Now, you guys had an idea to make a cone, right? So which is the formula to make a cone? Which is one? This is standing. Everything else? Everything else sitting, is it? Yeah? Okay. How do I find which formula to use? One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Thirty-two. Sixty-four, one hundred eighteen. Just formula number thirty-two. That's enough. Yeah? Formula number thirty-two. So how do I find formula number thirty-two? Let's just do that. Formula number thirty-two. Where is it? Okay, that's the formula. It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. What was the formula? One zero one. Let's see if it works. One zero one. Oh, that works. That works. Okay. Oh, but it dies out. So there's a problem with your formula. Guys, this doesn't work. The formula doesn't work. Do you know why it doesn't work? Because suppose these two people are standing. Then in the next row, next row how many people will be standing? One person only. And then after that, nobody. Zero, one, zero. Not zero, one, zero. This plus that. You want this plus that. Okay, fine. You want this also. You want that also. Okay. You want this. 8 plus 32. That's 40. Okay. Let's look at 40. Ah. Formula number 40. Now you guys are really making me get up and down. P plus Q times R. Still doesn't work. Doesn't do anything. One one one. One Now remember, the problem is, the problem is you want more people to stand up in the next row, as in the previous row. Hundred also. So I can keep adding to this. You see, this is actually quite tough. I can keep adding to this. So it turns out it's actually not easy to get. Okay. The left diagonal, right diagonal is easy. The other ones are not. Here's an example. What if I just took all these, all these guys are standing? Suppose I made it, okay, this is, you're just sitting, right? Suppose I made it like this. This is standing, this is standing, this is standing. 
That's it. Okay, suppose I made it like this. And in fact, uh, let me make it all here. Okay? The only time you don't scan is if everybody else can use zero or everybody else can use one. Okay? So what is the number here? Like the right bar? This is Let's try formula number 96. First of all, is this really formula number 96? Let's look over here. No, some mistake. That's not 96. I made a mistake. Sorry? Ah, so I made a mistake there. Formula number 126. Always check your calculation. So, Let's go. 126. Where are you? 120. Uh, is that the right formula? Okay. Let's try and find the 126. B plus Q plus PQ plus R plus PR. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. You have to help me out. This is equal to. P plus Q P plus Q plus PQ plus R plus PR plus PR plus QR Okay, that's my formula Okay Is this starting to look familiar? So this is interesting. It's a very easy formula. You just stand. Okay? You just stand. Unless everybody behind you is sitting. Or everybody behind you is standing. Otherwise, you just stand. Easy formula, right? You would never have guessed that's what it does. Yeah? So now I'm going to go to my... I'm going to zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. And just do this properly. Here's what I'm going to do. This is a 200% zoom. So let me just say. I'm going to delete all this, okay? That's all the old formula. Oops, maybe I don't want to delete. Maybe I don't want to delete. Something didn't work. Hold on.
because it's not very good. But see, it looks like that. Yeah? No? You don't think so? Look at that. Oh, you can't see it here. But anyway. This is sideways. This is sideways. The triangles are sideways. I'll show you some more. I'll show you some more. That one. Okay. In fact, in fact, we can do even better. Look at this. Which of these looks like the, the snail pattern? Okay, 18 is there. 30, anything else? 18. Oh, wow, look at this one. Okay, so which one shall we try? Okay, we'll try 129. Yeah. We'll try 129. So how do we get 129? We have to go to the room. 129. 129 is the exact opposite of this. Yeah? It's the exact opposite of this. In fact,
But in order to teach you guys what I did was I showed how to do it in Excel. That's what we Okay? But the idea of C step is very old. Okay. I mean, I have a few questions from the audience, but otherwise it's fine. Yeah? That was a good question.